What's good guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. Today we're taking a look at the Takahashi Style 47 LX. Colorway is canvas, Baja blue, dress blue, size 13. And retail on these was $100. Once again, coming in the same drawer box that we saw with the last Taka release, that Southwestern checkerboard design pretty much throughout the box here. Same dust bag we saw as well with the piece graphic with the feather logo and then you got your yellow drawstring here you guys ever think about how much time actually goes in designing these boxes and the dust bag for takas like she releases i don't know just some food for thought this is the th style 47 lx not the first time that we've seen this particular silhouette. Taka actually released a couple pairs of these maybe one or two seasons ago with like a marshmallow cream color and then an olive and black sold one. After having these in hand, I think I'm definitely gonna have to go back and try to find those marshmallow ones because I really do love how the silhouette came out. Just like we saw with the last Taka release, those Style 24 LXs, this one is inspired by 60s, 70s motorsport. So with the, this particular pair, Taka was inspired by the driving moccasins that the, the drivers were wearing both in the car and off the track. You do see a little bit of this quilted design on the toe box, which is also inspired by the jumpsuits that the riders would wear. They kind of had like that quilted pattern to them. This is all on a canvas, of course, the entire upper of this shoe. And the actual like quilted part is a little bit puffy too, which is pretty rad. It actually does have like that quilted feel. You have the contrast stitching in white throughout that toe box. Some more hits of the white on the heel here. It's kind of like this like crepe rubber, which you see in these three stripes on the back of the heel. This is gonna be a convertible style heel, a little collapsible heel. So you can just easily slide these on and off also to kind of add to the functionality of this being like a driver's mock. Of course, it sits on top of a white midsole here, and you do have a very faint checkerboard design on the sidewall. I don't know if you guys can make this out. I think it's in like a silver, but it does kind of have a shine to it if you get in the right light. This is the same design that we saw on the last couple colorways of this model too, which is pretty cool. And then on the very back there, you see the Taka Pierre with the take, the scene TH. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Kind of like his his little take on this classic graphic, which is cool. You got the Taka Hiyashi license plate on the back there, nice and fat. Can't miss that. Love it when he does that. On the interior of the shoe, we do see some yellow accents on the insole. The back of the insole is going to be lined with a pigskin leather, I believe. You got the vault hit, the feather emblem there and then the rest of the insole is lined with that southwestern inspired checkerboard pattern on the flag we do have the black vans flag with the yellow hits and then on the reverse the th emblem also with the feather outsole on these is going to have the random hit of the like teal and orange don't know where that came from i feel like this is more of a baja blue than than this color. This is like surf the web blue, right? But super random. Um, you also have, of course, the dress blue hits on the collar of the vamp, just on the trim around the collar of the heel as well. This is a super unique model with this like one piece elastic versus like the, the typical slip on that has the two elastic gores on the side. This just has the one. Of course, you got the yellow hit on that. Van Doren Rubber Co. It's got the collection date on there, spring 2021, which is rad. I love it when they add that to it. Just in case you forget when these came out. On the medial side of the shoe, you do have like this little yellow nylon strip, which kind of reminds me of like a seat belt. And then the ventilation holes here are gonna be in that teal color that we saw on the outsole. Super rad design though. I'm really happy about how these came out. I'm gonna have to pick up the black pair if I can find them in my size. It's definitely been the harder one to find, 
Um, I mean, these, these in general have only been available at like four or five shops, but I think uh, you'll start to see these pop up in a couple of weeks. But yeah, definitely recommend true to size on these. As far as the actual like slip on fit of it, I think these are closer to like a, a normal or like the, the older OG classic slip on where you have a lot of space uh, between the tongue and the heel where the vamp's a little bit shorter. So I really do like that part of it. it makes them easier to get on and off. Plus they're a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. I do recommend True to Size, $100 retail. Uh, if you guys haven't already checked out the review on the OG Style 24s that kind of are connected to this pack, I'll leave the link down in the description below. But otherwise, hope you guys enjoy the review. Be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.